oftentimes people wonder how successful people become successful. Is it luck? Is it privilege? In some cases, yes. Who you are, your upbringing, and even your luck can lead to you being successful. The thing is, these cases are only a minority. In this video, I'll teach you how to use the law of averages to become more successful. Hi guys, it's always a pleasure talking to you. If you're new to this channel, I'm here to serve you, to give you tips and strategies to achieve your dreams. Be the best you can be so you can live an awesome life. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the red button below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Now, most successful people are successful because of persistence and the unwillingness to give up. Most successful people believe in the law of averages. That's the idea that over a period of time, a particular thing will happen because it is just as likely to happen as the other possible events. Let's dive a little deeper into this matter. People in sales, especially people in direct sales, talk a lot about the law of averages. You will hear people credit the law of averages for their successes and less frequently blame it for their setbacks. Still, understanding the law of averages could make a valuable impact on your life. In life, you will face many challenges. Some challenges may seem impossible to overcome. Some challenges may be difficult but only take some work to complete. And some challenges which are easy to surpass, although rare. Taking that into account, the law of averages indicates that the likelihood of success is greater if you increase the frequency of your attempts to overcome those challenges. So it's about, and this is the key, increasing your attempts to overcome challenges and just being okay with it. Well, no matter what your goal in life is, you are going to bump into these type of situations. You will see a lot of hard rejections and hard-nosed people. Think about jobs, dating and relationships. If you use the law of averages, you can achieve a lot in your life. If you want a girlfriend, you gotta go out and approach more women. Do you want a decent job? All you have to do is apply to more places. Don't worry if you bump into a wall of rejections early on, because that's how the game works. You are supposed to get rejected over and over again. As long as you remain persistent and do not get discouraged, the likelihood of you eventually succeeding is inevitable. If you keep on trying, you will eventually find a solution or a way around any issue. I know, it's not that easy. That's why I'm here to give you some support, insight and energy. One of the reasons why some people fail in various areas of their life, be it in their work, business, or relationships is because they don't have a good understanding of failure. If you want to be more successful in life, you should expect failure. Success and failure are two things that you must experience in life. This means you should expect both. For many of us, success is something to embrace and failure is something that we don't expect nor accept and that's where the problem is. Why is expecting failure important in your life? Expecting failure is important because it gets you prepared for failure. It gives you the spirit to fight back. It makes you more open to a new lesson. And it helps you not to take failure personally. The reason why many of us become frustrated and stressed about our failure is because we take failure to heart. We think we have failed because our value as a person is low. We think we lack something in our soul. 
humanity or core personality that normally damages you, your self-esteem and confidence. When you expect failure, you start understanding that failure is a part of life and it has nothing to do with who you are. With that knowledge, you become less frustrated and stressed when you fail. The bad thing about not expecting failure is that when it happens, it shocks you and then puts your spirit down and makes you believe that you can't continue doing what you were doing. When you expect failure, you get to understand that to be successful, you must fail a couple of times. This then makes it easy for you to dust yourself off and keep on going when you fail. Failure normally carries with it some important lessons that you need to learn to be successful. So when you don't expect failure, it's easy for you to quit whenever you fail. Because you see failure as a personal message telling you that you can't succeed in your project. Instead of seeing it as a message informing you there is something wrong with your method of doing things that needs to change. So when you expect failure, you become a person that is eager to learn what went wrong and take a lesson and move on. I won't lie. At some point you will feel like giving up. You will think to yourself that anything except success will come out of your efforts. The key is to persevere and never give in. Don't let the situation get the better of you. Unfortunately, not all people can handle rejection. And in various situations, people can oftentimes shut down after a number of failures. It isn't easy, but it is something that can be trained. You just have to be willing. If the fear of rejection is keeping you from trying, then you could possibly be missing out on many opportunities. Rejection hurts. The way you choose to respond to rejection, however, could determine the entire course of your future. Fortunately, there are ways to overcome rejections. Rather than suppress, ignore, or deny the pain, acknowledge your emotions. Just admit when you are embarrassed, sad, disappointed, or discouraged. Whether you have been stood up by a date or turned down for a promotion, rejection stings. Trying to minimize the pain by convincing yourself or someone else it was no big deal, will only prolong your pain. The best way to deal with uncomfortable emotions is to face them head on. Rejection serves as proof that you're living life to the fullest. Just expect to be rejected sometimes and you will not be afraid to go for it even when you suspect it may be a long shot. If you never get rejected, you may be living too far inside your comfort zone. You can't be sure you are pushing yourself to your limits until you get turned down every now and then. Whether you get rejected for a project, passed up for a job, or turned down by a friend, you will know you are putting yourself out there. So guys, like I said, the law of averages is all about increasing your attempts to overcome challenges and about dealing properly with failures and rejections. In my book, Self-Improvement Training, I go into a little more depth on expecting failures and rejections and much more. If you're interested in my book, you can check it out by clicking the link below. I hope this video encourages you to use the law of averages to your advantage. 
leave your remarks in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. Join this positive and amazing community. See you on the next one.